My name is Bobby F. J. Town, and I have a problem. That and more on this week's episode of Let's Play. Joining me this week, as always, is Sorgatron. How you doing, Sorg? I'm here. I'm addicted to iPhone games, but that's okay. It's only 99 cents at a time, and it's not Candy Crush. Okay. Uh, Riz, how you doing? I have no addictions. <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> <laughs> And Chachi, how you doing? Jeebus, guys, I told you not to bother me while playing Candy Crush. Oh, no. Oh. Candy Crush oh. is like crack. Mm. All right, um, besides Candy Crush, what has everybody been playing <laughs> this week? Uh, who wants to go first? Uh, I, uh, I, I went to play Halo 2, um, couldn't, oh. um, because I don't have a hard drive in my Xbox and didn't realize it was needed. Um, so instead, I played 45 minutes of Halo 3, um, quit for the night, woke up the next morning to keep playing it, and my save game is gone. So I'm no longer playing Halo 3. <laughs> um, I unlocked the uh, Democrats and Republicans in NBA Jam on Fire Edition. And amazingly um, live tweeted it. That was great. Um, so that was fun. Um, in case you're curious, for the Republicans, uh, Sarah Palin is the three point shooter. And uh, for the Democrats, Bill Clinton. Of course. Of course. Um, wow. Yeah, Clinton goes long. Um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> the, the best part of the entire experience was alley-ooping to uh, Obama. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, it, it, so – and then I played some of Call of Duty and uh, Candy Crush. Um, however, next week it will be Final Fantasy V. Um mm -hmm. On my phone, which was released today. Nice. Um, and uh, if, if you if you have to rank them in order, Final Fantasy VII is my favorite Final Fantasy game, and uh, five is my second favorite, which was number two <coughs> for Super Nintendo. You're ten. What's really? I? Ten? Huh? What? Did yeah, you Bob, ten? You said, Bobby wait, did. You did say you bought ten? No. What? Who said? Who said ten? You did. Oh, I did. Jackass. Yeah, right. um, but that's it. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Okay, uh, good, 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 I've been playing uh, Battle Block Theater. They had a new Fur Bottom feature. I just like saying that name. Uh, I, I started play, booting back up the, the Injustice game because of uh, Lobo and Batgirl are playable now. And in the future, I don't know if it started already, but Scorpion's going to be playable. Nice. And that's going to be weird. And while I was, we were, I had my Xbox was being occupied, I decided to start playing Ocarina of Time again. I love it. One of it's the greats. One of my favorites. And I, I pissed Josh you off, and I'm sorry. It, it, but she does look very manly. Yeah, it, but it, it means you weren't paying attention to the game. I wasn't. Uh, it, Riz sent out a tweet um, last week. Last night. Was it last night? I think it was last night. Uh, last night asking if uh, Impa from Ocarina of Time was a man. Um. <sighs> And it irritated the shit out of me. Because A, it means he wasn't paying attention to the game that he was playing. And B, he raves about the game so much, but doesn't know that. And in case you're curious, uh, uh, the race of Impa, and I forget the name of it right now because it's a really weird name. Um, but in the culture, there are no men. Mm -hmm. uh, men are used for breeding that's it and uh, if a man actually does get born it's because he's important and will be helped okay that's your uh, the more you know with Zelda this week do, 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 do. <laughs> Sorg what'd you play um, again, iPhone, I was traveling a bit, so anytime I had downtime uh, playing a lot of old school stuff, X-Men arcade game uh, played through that uh, racking up the achievements there. Uh, playing through a good bit of Mega Man X. 
Um, <laughs> I didn't know Final Fight was on the iPhone, so I bought it. Uh, <laughs> so I'm, I'm really kind of in this big thing of playing like old games on my phone. Like, I'm just, like, looking through, like, what does Sega have? What does Capcom have? What does Konami have? You know, and you know, everything's just a couple bucks, so why not, you know? So, and I know, um, I want to maybe want to check out, I, I don't know, I haven't really played through the newer ones, but uh, I understand Sonic, uh, the original Sonic the Hedgehog has been remastered for iPhone, uh, my brother is telling me, so. Cool. Uh, Bobby, and don't forget the chat room. Yeah, I, um, I was just going to do the chat room here. Um, let me see. Uh, Brother Sorg has he replayed Batman Arkham Asylum uh, last week and beat it on hard and started playing Arkham City for the first time. Nice. Good choice. That's a great game. Yeah, I gotta get through Asylum, but I have to get a Windows on a machine that'll run it. All right, and I have played Dark Souls. I bought it last week on Xbox 360. How many for, ha- How many times for, have you died? A lot. I can't <laughs> get past the second part. I got past the first part with the, the the demon thing, and yeah, that game is ridiculously hard. Um, but I've been also playing uh, Mega Man Two, uh, played Scrabble, and nothing else. No, no, Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. What? Bobby. We are nothing we are your friends, else. Bobby. Bobby, what? We, are, we are here to help. You're, you, you're among friends. All right. I played Avengers Alliance for another 182 hours. No, no, not th- not quite that much. But I like am trying to unlock Juggernaut, and it's I got I'm one comic book away. Riz, I think you're one comic book away too. So somebody else has been playing it just as much as I have. No, yes. I've just been lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I I know when to stop. Sure. Well, yeah, I know when to stop too. 189 hours. That's what everybody What's says. That? That's, That's what, what everybody, everybody says. says <laughs> but nobody, nobody knows how. Nobody knows how. I but I did. I did get um, what's her name? So, a uh, rescue. See, you don't even know. I don't use her name. I, I do you enjoy. Don't know names anymore. <laughs> I did enjoy our Twitter conversation today, where uh, 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 Adventures of the Lions and Candy Crush leads to heroin. It does. So it does. I mean, we, we've learned a lot. No, today it leads Twitter. to super heroin brothers. I uh, <laughs> I was waiting to unlock the next episode uh, right before we started uh, recording tonight, and I did start twitching. So I am not the only one with addiction. Like I, I, I couldn't. I had to. I got to fix though. I'm good. All right. Am I the only one to play the challenge this week as well? Probably. Yoshi's Cookie. Yeah. Ah, oh, crap! I wanted to so bad. I ah. Oh, I never I, liked the game. I loved never it. Never liked Yoshi's Cookie. No, dude, we liked it so much I that love my brother Cookie. and I eventually got our own Game Boys, right? Just so we could link a few games, so we have the two copies of Yoshi's Cookie and Doctor Mario and Tetris, so we could play it with each other on car trips. It was fast paced. I mean, it, the game I think still holds up. Oh yeah, it's gotta. I, I, I got up to stage uh, three eight in one sitting today, just like this afternoon, just playing it. Uh, my my score was sixteen thousand ninety, which the scoring is kind of weird in that game because you're as you're building them, the faster you, I think the faster you get the level done, the higher your score should be. But it kind of takes away from like the uh, you know. What version were you playing? Uh, a ROM. Well, well, yeah, but what which uh, system? Because it was it was on like all three NES. Nintendo systems. I, I, I just it played on NES. NES. Okay, because yeah. I mean it's 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 uh there's a Super Nintendo version we had in the Game Boy, of course. Uh, I think a couple times we rented it on on one of the consoles or something mm-hmm. like that. Just be like, oh, what's it look like in color? Oh, that's what that color <laughs> supposed to, that that cookie's supposed to be. Uh, you know, something like that. So, um, I. I it's uh yeah that that game I I couldn't imagine a puzzle game like that not holding up. So and there's a Nintendo version there. There's Mario. You know, I don't get I don't think you get to see Mario in the uh, Game Boy version. So, um, but uh, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I wanted to do kind of like a uh, video of like this was Yoshi's Cook. <laughs> Pull out the old Game Boy and see if it still runs. So, uh, but we'll see. Anyways, Bobby, what we got for next week's challenge? Uh, next week's challenge is an NES game called Astyanix. I don't know if a lot of you oh, are familiar no! with that. <laughs> How do you spell yeah. it? Have you played that? A S T Y A N Y X, I think. Yeah. This I was... had this game when I was a kid. You had it? I had it. Oh, this was oh, an unfortunate. I think I know this game. This was an was... unfortunate rental for me. It was I'm a like, tough oh game. Oh my god, what is this? 
You know? Um, yeah. It that, is. It uh, has one of the most useless weapons in a game ever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, the spear. <laughs> it was so useless. And then uh, you got the sword and, or the axe and you're like, yeah, I have power now. <laughs> Yeah, so, that's that's a good one. And so I, I presume it's up on the uh, virtual NES uh, site. Uh, I believe so. I didn't check that, but right. uh, it, it probably is. It, it was a popular NES game back in the day. Really, really, that I, was popular. I think. Really, I remember it was well not, advertised. Ooh. Not really. <laughs> well, you know, it was all over GamePro. Yeah. So that was about as good as it got. <laughs> <laughs> got unless, that front page. Unless you were a Mario game, that's about as good as it got. So. <laughs> All right, now it's time for things you should be made aware of. Things uh, you should be made aware of. Chachi, I believe you have something for us. Oh, uh, which one is this? The ET. Oh yes, um, a company in Canada uh, is making a documentary based upon the urban myth that upon failure, um, Atari buried all the leftover copies of ET along with some. Uh, unused hardware prototypes and broken equipment in a landfill in New Mexico. Where it belongs. Um, <laughs> I didn't know this was a myth. I thought this was, like... No. I thought it was real, too. No, this is just an urban myth. Okay. Like, it's oh. never been... Uh, Atari has never admitted to this. Okay. Um, and no one knows, and the only people that would know oh, is Atari. Dude, they are completely wow. finding Hoffa. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Atari Atari buried Jimmy Hoffa along with uh, one million copies of unboxed E.T. It, it's it's like a Jimmy Hoffa jello salad. It's Hoffa <laughs> E.T. cartridges sand. Um, but uh, <laughs> Pac-Man. No, Why um, not Pac-Man? <laughs> uh, apparently in 1983, uh, when E.T. was released and bombed, at Atari had truckloads of the game mm -hmm. that didn't sell. Um and they had a shipping plant or a production center in Texas um, where that housed all of these games along with uh, prototypes for video game equipment that they weren't going to use and broken equipment that they weren't going to uh, release or uh, had to get rid of. Um, so apparently they bought, they trucked all of this stuff over to New Mexico uh, where they purchased some landfill space, uh, dumped it all there, and covered it in concrete. Because the last thing they wanted at the time was other gaming companies to go there and see, well, number one, um, millions of copies of their newest game uh, buried. Um, and number two, uh, prototypes that they didn't think were going to work uh, and then be released. Mm. Uh, so it was covered in concrete uh, to, to, to be there for the next uh, 30 years. Um and so, fire was uh, fire or fuel industries, um, which is a Canadian-based uh, game company and uh, film company, um, has permission from the New Mexican. Uh, what city is it? Uh, Alamo Gordo, New Mexico. Um, he has the permission of the city commission to go to the landfill and <laughs> basically. Uh, dig up these games as if they were dinosaur bones. Wow. Uh, so uh, they have a general idea of where the, where the plot is, um, and they're going to uh, document the entire process on film. Um, and, and it, no, it, it, the bad thing about this is um, all of this information has to be coming from New Mexico um, because Fuel Industries hasn't released any information about this. Mm-hmm. Um, so either it's all public info. Yeah, it, it's all public info at this point. Um, so either they don't have much faith in this product project, or uh, they're just not saying anything. Hmm. Um, Wonder if you can make like a, an ET Jurassic Park with the cartridges instead of digging <laughs> them up like fossils. I, well, I mean, Jurassic that's Park. that's basically what it's going to look like. Dino DNA. <laughs> it's bingo. <laughs> Bingo, thank um, you. Uh, but basically, uh, because that's what's going to have to happen. I, I, I mean, they dug a hole, they put all these copies in, and they covered it with cement. So the cement mixed in with all the boxes and equipment and stuff. So they're going to have to basically chisel away at the cement until they get to a part that they can prove 
is all these copies of ET. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Um, Interesting. So oh, yeah, awesome. It, it could be. They, I mean, they have uh, they have access to the site for six months. That's uh, not bad. They have enough time. Maybe yeah. they'll, they'll be able to find it. So yeah, we will we will find out if Atari uh, hid all the extra copies of ET under their bed. <laughs> And Jimmy Hoffa. <laughs> yes, and Jimmy Hoffa. <laughs> All right. Um, our next uh, thing we, you should be made aware of, um, Bioshock Infinite, uh, one, of, one of the early contender for Game of the Year for most, for most of us, um, has a new board game coming out uh, from, <laughs> I think, the company is Plaid, Plaid Hat. Mm-hmm. Plaid Hat. Um, Plaid Hat, they're called. Um, they make tabletop games. Um, the game takes like 60 to 90 minutes to play. It's for two to four players, ages 13 and up. Um, and it's based on the storyline. It continues the storyline, basically, of Bioshock Infinite. I hope um, it doesn't end how it ends. Yeah. No spoilers, because <laughs> that, com- that, that would be awkward. Yeah, but uh, there are little tiny figures that come with the game. There's a, a songbird, there's a blimp, uh, there's the Vox Populi, uh, there's even an Elizabeth and a Booker figure. Um, but the only bad thing about it is, is the price. It's eighty five dollars. What? It's going for yes. sixty right now on their website. Yeah, if, if you pre order it on platthatgames dot com, you can get twenty five dollars off if you pre order the game, which will be sixty, which is not as bad, but still kind of pricey. But yeah, eighty five dollars just straight up buying it when it comes out. Nah, I like Bioshock, but not that much. And, and I don't really play a lot of tabletop games, but I just thought that was neat that they actually had that available for people. So, all right, Riz, I think you have something for us, too. I was not made aware of this until two days ago. Uh, this is this is your regular Nintendo 64. Okay. It has, you know, the little flap for the cartridges, reset button. Power on, power off. But also it has these things on the back here. Mm-hmm. There's little holes, and then this. And, and you'll notice most, I, of, you know, most of your Nintendo consoles have had expansion ports on the bottom. Yes. Yes. But I did not know this until a couple of days ago. Mm-hmm. You're fired. I, that I didn't know what it was for. Mm-hmm. And I did not know that the, that during, what was it, 90, 99, 98, I'm not sure. But Nintendo brought out the Nintendo 64 Double D. Now, I believe this was not released in America. <laughs> it was not. <laughs> and it was, uh, it was kind of a uh, flop. Yeah. Uh, let's see, there was like eight games released. Mm-hmm. They were supposed to release more games. Yeah. But they decided, you know what, screw it and let's go somewhere else. But they are being sold for on eBay. Like the one I, that, that one I posted in the dock was for a grand. Yep. And that's Wow. And that's now. shipped from Japan to here. So that would be around $1,000, 1061 Mm-hmm. And then also there's one that's sold in America, which is worth two thousand six hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. So, if you want to start a Kickstarter for for us to get <laughs> a Nintendo Double uh, sixty four Double D, go ahead. We would like this. And but yeah, is, don't you find it ironic that the Double D costs as much as probably breast surgery does? <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, you know, Nintendo's always had a, a run at this. You know, remember uh, their Nintendo, the Famicom, uh, the, their 8 bit mm-hmm. in Japan had a disk drive. You know, that's how, you know, Super Mario lost levels. They, they were re released. There's actually a really good article on it in that magazine I was lambasting a couple of weeks ago that we got from Loot Crate. Um, but they. They don't mind add-ons over there, so they're going to get stuff like that over there that we never do. I mean, they had a karaoke set for the Nintendo Entertainment System, Famicom there, but still. 
Um, whereas, you know, we see what happens when you get too many, you know, connects and stuff like that on, on our stuff here. Type, 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 Um, <laughs> so it's, uh, uh, yeah, that, that, this was definitely one of those things they were promising, like, oh, we're going to be able to do so much and these games are coming out. And it never got here and it barely got anywhere. <laughs> One of, one of the games that I was really looking forward to see was how awesome SimCity 64 would be. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> I'll, I don't know about that. <laughs> and uh, F-Zero X, the expansion pack. Mm -hmm. I've played F-Zero, and I still don't know what the hell it do. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it, I don't know what to do with the expansion pack when I get it either. But... It was a little cool add-on, I think, but it didn't really pan out. And as I said, some of the stuff that were that that was scheduled for release on that system, on that in that pack, like I believe there was an expansion pack for Ocarina of Time. Yes, the the, the Master Quest, which I think oh, was yeah. it was released on the GameCube it, as a yes. pack in yeah, for I, Wind Waker. Yeah, I actually have that. Yeah, I have that too, because uh, that mm -hmm. was the pre-order bonus with uh, Wind Waker was. Ocarina, and then the mm -hmm. uh, the Master Quest version. Right. That was never released. Uh, but yeah, that was, that was kind of cool to see. But yeah. um, I'm sorry I'm kind of late on the boat here, but it was kind of cool. Awesome. All right, what's next, Bobby? All right, um, Riz, I think you have the uh, you wrote an article on the Delta 6 oh, controller for our first news story yeah. of the week. Uh, I, this, I, have the question, I have a question for Chachi, though. Okay. okay. If you were to have... Oh, this is for anybody, actually, since we all... Since we all played, but I directed to Chachi, our commander. Um, and don't you forget it. Yep. Um, I, I already have an answer to the question because I know the question you were going to ask. Um, Chris and I were already trying to figure out where we could get $500 from um, to get the, uh, the two-pack. Kickstarter. Kick, the, yeah. Um, it, I'm not even kidding. Um, I, we were trying to figure out where we could scrounge the money up from so we could get two of them. You could sell can Candy this, Crush and <laughs> be a Candy is Crush a pusher. controller for any first-person shooter game or any compatible first-person shooter games uh, with your – even if you don't have Call of Duty and you have stuff like Mass Effect, uh, I think Battlefield I saw on the demo. Gear, I don't know if Gears was on there, but all these, all these games would work with this controller, which is just a basic gun. And it, and the prototype doesn't have the red orange tip on it. They're going to have an orange tip on it, but it doesn't really matter. But on the Xbox version, as I saw, they did have the red, yellow, blue, green buttons. And they had the little thing on there, but it's motion detection. So if you move forward, it goes forward. If you move back, it moves back. The reloads button. The reload is actually pressing on the the thing. The reload. The, the cartridge. Um, lean forward and do go. It's all motion based. Like if you look down through the scope, your TV will go into scope mode, hmm. and it just looks real. Now that's that's one of the things. If I had enough money i would probably back this in a heartbeat <laughs> but i don't because i don't that's a much. really cool i uh it's a really concept. cool idea yeah. we were we were trying to uh scrounge up the money for the one that includes the uh the foam case mm -hmm. to carry mm -hmm. it in <laughs> but i i feel weird though like if 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 some you know if something happened in your apartment or house and the cops come in and they see that, you just say, oh, no, it's a game. It's a controller. I promise. Look, see. His buttons that, that's it, what so. the orange tip is for. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the orange, the orange tip is to stop kids or anyone else from uh, acting as if it's a real gun. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it lets it lets everyone who sees it know that it's not a real gun; it's a toy. Right. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I I want one. I want <laughs> I want I want more than one. I want a dual wheeled gun. 
<laughs> Akimbo uh, Delta Six control. I don't think it works yes. like that. <laughs> no. Oh. Well, okay. it, they're both motion controllers. So you couldn't move one gun because you would start going right, and then move the other gun, you'd start going left, sure. and then the game would be confused and it would freeze. Split screen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, our, our next story is about a an, a brand old game. Uh, Fable Anniversary Edition's teaser trailer was announced or was released today, which it's not much of a teaser trailer because it basically said yes, it's coming out. Um, it's going to be for the Xbox 360, um, the original Fable, uh, which I never got to play too much. I know you guys said you didn't either. Um, because of mm. it being on the, the original Xbox, which I don't think a lot of us had. Well, at the time, I was a PC gamer, so... Yeah. Um, I, I I had a PS2 at the time. My, how the t- times have changed. <laughs> I'm an Xbox <laughs> fanboy through and through yeah. now. And I've only um, played but, a little bit of 2 myself, so... But yeah, the, uh, the trailer they released looks really cool. Um, the bad guy, the Jack of Blades, uh, is back. He says menacingly in the trailer um but do you think this is all lionheads gonna announce at e3 i mean they didn't announce this at e3 do you think they're gonna have a new game for the xbox one do you think there's gonna be a new fable for the xbox one <clears throat> it could be it depends on where they're at the, in the cycle i mean those guys mm-hmm. uh, i mean this is a company notorious for uh over promising way too early mm-hmm. so let's see if they learned by now you know or are they so. gonna have a milo game <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that his name, Milo? That's right, there's Milo on the Kinect. So maybe we'll get a, uh, a Milo 2 uh, even creepier, yeah, I was... guess. Uh, all right, Josh, I think you have a last story for us. I do, and we're running out of time. Uh, uh, it, basically, I did a well-composed, well-written article about uh, uh, the point everyone is missing about the used games uh, argument really putting over your writing ability there. I uh, only on certain <laughs> articles. Okay. Um, I, I realize that my normal everyday articles are piles of crap for the most part. Um, I, I mean, you get the really infor- throwing yourself under the bus well, there. Well, I mean, you get the information out of them, but it's not a a, a flowing work. No, no, we you understand that's how these um, sites work. Yes, we, you don't uh, have to defend it. But either this way. this is a. a Really good look at the right side of the argument, the mm-hmm. correct side of the argument, as uh, uh, why Xbox is allowed and why PlayStation is allowed to sk- or uh, to make a ruling on the used game environment. And this is your uh, Xbox One used games and the point everyone is missing or don't simply don't care about. Yeah, um, which is over on InsertCoinToBegin.com. So. All right, um, our boss boss battle real quick here. Um, what were your all time favorite E three mo- mo- moments? Because E three is next week, gentlemen. Uh, honestly, oh. until I started the site, I didn't pay attention to E three. Really? Mm-hmm. Um, I paid attention to console news that was coming out, but other than that, I really didn't care. And we were probably like more passive before, right? right. Mm-hmm. Um, I knew nothing PC wise was going to be released mm-hmm. uh, at th- E three, so. Um, why bother? Uh, see, I had uh, I, I've been watching. I just love these announcement videos myself. Mm-hmm. Like you know, I watch all the way Apple ones and everything like that. Um, the Connect announcement really got me excited for it. You know, it was like because I remember like the demo they showed. It was a fitness game, and it actually saw like the fabric of her shirt hanging off her body. You know, and this before I understand what the technology was, and now we know probably far too much about how the connect works it kind of destroys the entire magic of the entire thing um but it's still i think is one of those things where like oh wow this is something different and oh man nintendo is in trouble and and now we see where we're at with that and i'm uh even more excited to see what connect's going to do now that everybody will have it so Ooh. that's not just a, pa- a pa- add-on it's a pack-in it's it's not <laughs> It's not a it's not a uh, a power glove. It's a zapper gun, and, you know. So, Bobby, um, my favorite moment was when they announced that uh, Final Fantasy Thirteen would be playable on Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. Um, I was I was overjoyed because I was a PlayStation fan, and I didn't think there I would ever play Final Fantasy again. And the game kind of disappointed me, but I was I was happy at the time. Um, and another announcement was. Um, 
Skyward Sword when they announced that. I was mm-hmm. happy about that mm-hmm. too on, on Wii. And even though I have never played it yet. You <laughs> <So. laughs> <laughs> don't hold up to very, much, but, very well. Um, but I mentioned this last week. This happened pre E3 last year. The, the 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 fact there was a hologram on my screen from Konami. <laughs> I couldn't believe what I was watching. I think Bobby Bobby, you were there, right? Yeah. 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 We were just watching this in awe of of hologram I forget what his name was. Uh but we were thinking like Tupac was gonna come out, maybe hologram biggie. Wasn't it Hideo Kojima? Hmm? Was it Hideo Kojima? Yes. Okay. I think that's who it was. But it was still one of the oddest moments I can think of. <laughs> and it was it, – it's like moments like that that I get excited for because you get – well, and you get E3 announcements like, hey, everybody, look at my thing. Hey, look over here. It's this thing. But he did it. They did it. Konami did it one step better than anyone else did. And it, I don't know if it's because they didn't have a presser or not. But – it was it was fun. It was a fun mm-hmm. little you know ditty where they, he just announces and then just disappears. So it was great, creepy. From right, well, from um, the chat room, uh, you got one in the chat room. They got one in the chat room. Uh, Alex Card says the Halo Two announcement was a big one for him. Of course it was. Uh, he says he'll do one, but say uh, least favorite. Remember the year they took all almost all the glitz of E Three away. Yeah, that was terrible. I was like, why did they do that? <laughs> I don't know, because they were stupid. Yeah, so see yeah. how that worked. Now people are just putting stuff in the parking lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I'm looking at you. All right, uh, that'll do it for us this week. Uh, you can follow us on at InsertCoinTB on Twitter. Um, visit the website. New articles going up um, as soon as we can. New articles on New articles insert- coming up tonight. Oh, nice. Uh, on InsertCoinToBegin.com. Um our challenge this week is ask the annex for the NES and for us that's game over.